down in my heart. Down in my heart, I've got the joy of Jesus. Down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the joy of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the joy of Jesus in my heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. And with your spirit. So we gather during this Easter season, in the month of April, for our monthly glad mass celebration. And we welcome all of you at home who are joining us as we continue to celebrate the hope that we receive from Christ. I know it's been difficult, we've been separated, but God's love continues to bind us together as we share the Eucharist. So let's take a moment and, and call to mind our sins. At times maybe we lost our patience, uh, said or did something that we regret. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise Him, alleluia. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. And while they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hand and my feet, that is, I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? And they gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. And everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to the understanding of the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer, rise from the dead, and on the third day, and that repentance and the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name. To all the nations beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise him, alleluia. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. In, in today's Gospel for Luke, we, if you read the whole Gospel, it seems like Jesus is always either going to a meal having a meal, or leaving a meal. He's always eating, 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 with friends and family, with strangers. And as you know, part of our GLAD program, we always take time to have the lesson and time to pray, but always to have something to eat, whether it's cake or pizza, a little uh, juice, 
it's always good to gather and share food because when we share food we are bond closer together and of course Jesus is the ultimate comfort food when we see the Lord in the Eucharist we get strength to be uh, people of hope people of joy and peace I know it's been hard not be able to come in person that's why we're doing these masses on live streaming them so that we can once again feel that bond with Jesus who loves us and he reaches out to all and he feeds us each day with his compassion, with his mercy, enabling us to persevere come no matter what. So God bless you all. Now the lesson. Kurt, know that God loves you and nourishes each day your life with his love and mercy so that you can be a good boy and young man, a witness of faith. Father, Amen. Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, may the Eucharist continue to strengthen you in your ministry to witness the hope and the joy of the gospel now and forever. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. So we take a moment now to pray for all our loved ones so we, our response is Lord hear our prayer so we pray first of all for Pope Francis and Cardinal Supic and all the leaders of the church that they can be witnesses of hope and reconciliation we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer. prayer we pray for all who serve us our first responders those who are in the hospitals, the nursing homes, the nurses, and all the good people that care for us each day for their safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, reconciliation among families. Sometimes we get on each other's nerves that the Lord will bring us together, especially when we gather for the Eucharist or gather around the table at home, that he brings us comfort and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Remember all those who have died, all those who uh, are sick, perhaps with the COVID-19 uh, virus, that they will know our love and that we will always remember them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the members of our glad family, all our catechists, all our friends, and all our good people that support our glad program, especially Lois. Penny and all the good people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause and add our own prayers in silence. God, our Father, hear these prayers, those spoken and those deep in our hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord, Lord accept sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the for praise and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good and the good of all the church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right Right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together of the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, who lays our bishop, to all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his first spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, St. John the Rock, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. We pray and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ Jesus. Peace. A loving peace. wave. Peace. Like Keith and Amy says, loving wave. Loving wave, yes. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may obtain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, any announcements of those? Not, not really. The, 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 the ninth lesson will be coming up shortly. And you will be able to see that, but that will be a culmination of all the past nine lessons, is what our last lesson will be about. And, and then, then in May we'll have our mass. Yes. And then in June we have the first communion looking forward to it. You'll be getting information and formal letters about telling us about the uh, first communion mass, which will be the Saturday before Father's Day. I think that's June 19th at 10 o'clock in the morning. But you'll get more information on that at a future date. Any that's birthdays? Right. No, it must be a birthday. Thing. Just be somebody's, but I don't know. But we'll we'll see. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Thanks for all your support, all your ministry, and, and it's a beautiful day today, and, and the weather now is changing, which is great. You can get out for a walk, get some air, and we're grateful for all of your support and prayers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the Redeemer of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. 
Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism to faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. And may the blessings, Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you and your families now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for giving us life. Thank you, Lord, for giving us life. Thank you, Lord, for giving us life. Right where we are. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Father Meany. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Father Meany. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Father Meany. Right where we are. God bless everybody. Yeah, thank you.